Good afternoon. My name is Leah Fallhaber, President of the Student Council. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our national anthem, as performed by the concert band under the direction of Mr. Eric Gross. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Leah, Mr. Gross, and members of the Freehold High School Concert Band. Good evening, families and friends of the graduates of the class of 2020. My name is Mr. Joseph Iaculo. As the 12th grade assistant principal, it is my pleasure to be the first to welcome you to the 141st annual commencement exercises of Freehold High School. Although the 141st commencement looks somewhat different than the previous 140, Thankfully, we are here to recognize and celebrate the senior class of 2020. We have honored guests with us this afternoon. First, a message from the Freehold Borough Mayor, Kevin Kane. Hello, I'm Kevin Kane, Mayor of the Borough of Freehold. On behalf of the Borough Council and our entire community, I am honored to congratulate you on the milestone achievement of your high school graduation. Your accomplishments are a source of justifiable pride for our entire community. This year has not played out exactly as planned, and you've had more than your share of disappointment. Being resilient is part of growing up, and facing life's challenges will make you stronger. Burrow strong. I know things are tough now, but as a great son of Freehold Burrow and former colonial Bruce Springsteen once said, at the end of every hard day, people find some reason to believe. Believe in yourselves, great things lie ahead. You are forever the class of 2020. Be proud of what you have overcome in the year of this unprecedented pandemic. Because, as we like to say here in the borough, you just can't hide that borough pride. Good luck and best wishes from all of us for a very successful, happy, and healthy future. Thank you, Mayor Kane. Also, with a few words, for you, Board of Education member, Mr. Heshi Moses. To the class of 2020, congratulations. My name is Heshi Moses. I am the representative from the borough to the Board of Education. But more importantly, for 35 years, I taught and coached at your school, Freehold Borough. Um, I just want to let you know that even though you're having a virtual graduation, which is not something I know that none of you wanted, your life won't be virtual. This is just a moment in time, and it will pass. And it is up to you to decide what your future will be like. I know that these times are hard. Uh, you're separated from your friends, uh, from sports, from the things that you really enjoyed about school. But this has made you tougher, and it's prepared you for anything that can come at you in life. So I just want to wish you the best. I want you to be safe, be healthy, and be borough strong. Thank you, Mr. Moses.
Tonight is the public recognition of the academic achievement of 343 graduates, the class of 2020. I now invite to the podium senior class advisor, Ms. Dana Parabello. A few years ago, I was asked to supervise the freshman class during their Battle of the Classes practices. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Battle of the Classes, seven boys and seven girls from each grade compete against each other in a series of week-long events. They design costumes, make decorations for the gym, practice for relay events, and create a synchronized dance routine. Even though they were just freshmen, their practices were intense. It was easy for them to get frustrated with each other, especially when it came to the pressure surrounding the dance. Choreographing a dance is hard, but teaching it to a group of kids with very little dance experience is even harder. As I watched these 14 students, all with different personalities and ideas of their own, I was able to spot a leader amongst the crowd. She was assertive, yet calm. She was organized, but went with the flow. She spoke with confidence and never dismissed others' opinions. She was able to set attainable goals and always had a clear path of achieving them. Most importantly, her peers respected her. I always had a feeling that this young girl was something special. And four years later, as I'm standing here introducing her as a senior class president, I guess I can say my instincts were correct. Maddie Costa was, and still is, a natural born leader. Maddie has been a member of the student council all four years of high school and has the role of president for the past three years. In addition to being the senior class president, Maddie is a member of DECA and National Honor Society and is a varsity cheerleader and softball player. She does all this while excelling in both honors and AP classes, ending her high school career with a cumulative GPA of 4.9. The hard work and diligence that I have observed as Maddie's class advisor speaks volumes about her character. She is motivated, reliable, personable, and destined for success. In the fall, she will be attending the University of South Carolina as a student in the Honors College. I will be sad to see her leave our halls, but I know the marks she will leave on this world will make it a better place. Please join me in welcoming your senior class president, Maddie Costa. Good afternoon, graduates, families, administrators, and whoever else might have snuck in through our link to participate in the greatest classes ceremony. Before I begin, I just want to thank Mrs. Jewell, Mr. Iaculo, Mr. Hine, Ms. Acevedo, Mr. Longo, and all the teachers and counselors of Freehold Borough, and of course my family. You have truly made the last four years the best years of my life. If anyone would have told us earlier this year that we would have a virtual graduation, we would have laughed and said that person had no idea what they were talking about. But no matter the circumstance, this is our ceremony and this is our new normal. Whether my speech was delivered on the football field, through a camera, or if I didn't give a speech at all, I'm honored to have been the class of 2020's president for the past three years. We are truly one of a kind. Our senior year in its entirety can be described, can be described as anything but ordinary. I think the unpredictability really began for the class of 2020 on September 14, 2019 at the annual Borough vs. Township football game. Our final battle for, battle for the Duke ended in double overtime with a Borough win. All of us stormed the field in excitement since we just beat our crosstown rival. This pandemic may have taken a lot from us, but it could never take away the fact that we are graduating in possession of the Duke trophy. As the months went on, we continued to prove that we were unlike any other class before. We won events, were recognized, and we figured out how to navigate our way through our final year. We even watched a Mr. FHS contestant juggle while riding a unicycle, a perfect metaphor for the balancing act that was the beginning, middle, and end of our senior year. It's been 1,386 days since we walked into Freeld High School for the first time and 103 days since we walked out for the last time. And although we are not sitting in a classroom, the last 103 days have taught me more about my school and my peers than the three and a half years spent at Borough. Like many of us, I had no interest in going to school on Friday, March 13th. But when my mom looked me in the eye and said, go, I have a feeling you won't be able to go for a while, I changed my mind and I'm glad I did as that would be my final day at Freeld High School. As Rocky Balboa once said, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you could get hit and keep moving forward. We can all agree we have gotten hit. 
In the process of having all the greatly anticipated tr traditions of senior year getting stripped from us, it is evident we've become the greediest class to date. We have learned and succeeded with remote learning. We have taken more responsibility for our learning by advocating for ourselves with teachers, and we have had to make big decisions regarding our future without the comfort of daily peer interaction. I'm proud to say we have handled what has been thrown our way with resilience. We have all had our ups and downs and many emotional moments, but at the end of the day, our maturity and acceptance of what is not in our control has made us wiser. I know, as a class, we didn't realize we were capable of this. Acceptance has proven to be the outstanding quality all of us have needed to get through these times. Acceptance is defined as being able to recognize the reality of a situation without attempting to change it. Many of us attempted to protest the situations we were dealt, including this graduation which we are all watching. Slowly, however, we have all come to terms with the reasoning behind why things need to be this way and we can move forward. Acceptance cannot be forced, and us experiencing firsthand hardships has taught us how important this skill is, as we will use it for the rest of our lives. We must accept, accept ourselves, each other, and the things that make us uncomfortable. When we accept things for what they are and realize there are no alternatives, it opens up the possibility to relax. When we look back on this moment, it is easy to remember everything we have lost, but it is important to remember what we have gained. If we can get through this, we can get through anything. And in the future, hopefully, you can relax, take a deep breath, and just say it is what it is. Thank you. Thank you, Madison. Although we are here to honor you as a group this afternoon, it is fitting that we should acknowledge two of your classmates individually for their academic accomplishments. Keeping with the age-old tradition, we recognize the class valedictorian and salutatorian. Your salutatorian is the student in the class with the second highest grade point average earned over the past four years at Freehold High School. It is with great pleasure I introduce the salutatorian, Ms. Sophia Shre. Sophia is an impressive, well-rounded young woman who has not only achieved high standards of academic merit, but is also actively involved outside the classroom. Sophia is a student in our medical science magnet program she is a true academic, intelligent and determined, with a calm demeanor, who has a strong passion for the medical field. She shines not only in the mathematics and sciences, but in the humanities as well. Her high school transcript includes 12 honors courses and nine advanced placement courses. Sophia is a member of the Math League, Girls Tennis Team, the Future Health Professionals, or HOSA, and a member of the National Honor Society. She is a selfless student who also provides service to her community. Sophia has volunteered <clears throat> at Central State Applewood Elder Care for the past four years. Further, she has been extremely helpful for her, to her peers, enthusiastically volunteering as a peer tutor. Sophia has participated in the Robert Wood Johnson Medical School Summer Science Scholar Program where she experienced and explored a medical school-like environment, taking courses in anatomy and lab. Sophia is a remarkable young woman. Her teachers describe her as an intellect, dedicated, one who has intellectual curiosity and a diligent work ethic, a pleasing personality, determined, humble, a natural, and a great collaborator, collaborator both an excellent teacher and mentor. What makes Sophia stand out is her genuine caring and willingness to assist others. Sophia has most recently been recognized as a 2020 National Merit Finalist. In the fall, Sophia will be attending Rutgers University Honors College as a biological science major. I welcome Freeld High School's Class of 2020 salutatorian, Ms. Sophia Shre. Hi everyone, my name is Sophia Shre, and I have the honor of being this year's salutatorian. As someone who's thought college apps and the AP Lit exam will be the last I'd have to see of writing in a while, I was definitely not expecting this, and I would not have had such a pleasure had it not been for the continuous support of the borough faculty and staff, my friends, and my family. It is also thanks to them that here we are, borough class of 2020, prepared to set off on their different paths, paths that we've explored and made our own over these past four years. It is thanks to them that even in these difficult times, we're able to wake up every morning or afternoon 
to not only classroom assignments and a constant battle with our senioritis, but also posts informing us of the crazy weather, recently picked up pastimes, and even the discovery of a delicacy involving bees and liquor. And it is thanks to them that we're constantly reminded that despite not being physically together, Borough remains strong and connected. And now, here in my hand, I hold a penny for some thoughts as well as an extended metaphor that I hope all the English teachers can forgive me for. This piece of change may seem small to us now, but how about back when we were little five-year-olds, hearing the ice cream truck song as it passed through our neighborhood, or spotting a gumbo machine in the mall? Our lives have constantly been bombarded with change, from when we first entered Borough as a little freshman with a penny shoved in our hands and no idea what to do with it, to when we thought we had everything figured out, only to be met with block scheduling in junior year. I hope I wasn't the only one walking through the wrong block three class every G day. But we soon realized that these changes were opportunities. Opportunities to try new things and shape our experiences at Burrow. And now we can look back and laugh about our deliberations on how we spent it. Change can seem so important in one moment and insignificant in the next. Instead, it's the experience of enjoying your ice cream or finding out you don't really like gumballs. The experience of making a new friend after seating assignments or spending the extra uninterrupted minutes of each class finishing an interesting discussion. That stays with you for life. So now, as we've all been handed this new piece of change as we graduate from one stage of life to the next, I look forward to seeing how each and every one of us decides to spend it. So once again, congratulations to the Borough Class of 2020 and everyone who believes in us. We made it. Thank you, Sophia. It is my pleasure to introduce Brian Cleary as the Class of 2020 Valedictorian. When speaking individually with several of Brian's teachers, there was a common theme. Each described Brian as a committed student who always strives for excellence and not just in the letter grade. They stressed that he also strives to really completely understand the material. While a student at Freehold High School, Brian took a rigorous curriculum of 10 honors classes and 12 advanced placement classes. Brian earned outstanding achievement awards in multiple content areas. He was on the high honor roll every marking period of his years here at the borough. He is an AP scholar with distinction and a national merit finalist. During what we here at the borough refer to as the second half of the day, Brian successfully integrated interscholastic athletics, winter and spring track, worked with the National Honor Society and Spanish Honor Society, and volunteer service, all of this with his demanding scholastic workload. He is also the solo saxophone player for both our marching and concert bands, which as you know, involvement in the music program depends many, many hours of time. Those who know Brian describe him as an optimist, a person who sees challenges as growth and learning opportunities. His leadership and interpersonal skills and ability to, ability to work in a group dynamic are exemplary and recognized by his teachers as well as his peers. In the fall, Brian will be attending Vanderbilt University. I welcome Brian Cleary, valedictorian of the class of 2020. Good afternoon, everyone. We all thought that we'd be sitting on our football field, receiving our diplomas from Miss Jewell and celebrating the accomplishments and hard work that brought all of us here today. Instead, we are sitting in the same spots we have sat in for all of the quarantine, watching one of the most important moments of our high school career happen through a screen. Even though we were not able to have a traditional graduation ceremony, I am humbled and honored to speak for the class of 2020. From being born during the time of 9-11 to graduating during one of the worst pandemics the world has ever seen, our class has become accustomed to overcoming turmoils. We have experienced heartbreak and disappointment through these last couple of months, but yet here we are, graduating in the midst of a crisis. One of the biggest things I have learned from both being at the end of my high school career and being in quarantine is that it is so important to show appreciation for things that may not seem like they would matter. Not being able to celebrate the end of high school properly put into perspective how much we take for granted. 
I used to be upset about having to wake up early to go to school and complain about the hours of homework I would have every night. Now I would do anything just to go to school one last time and say a final goodbye to the people I grew up with. I wish I was walking to the new gym during lunch with an empty cup of honey mustard even though the machine is broken every single day. I wish I was in the office asking for a new locker code since the janitor locked mine and I forgot the numbers again. I even wish I was waiting in line at Grand Central because every other bathroom was closed and only one person could go in at a time. Despite the fact that I've had some bad moments at Burrow, I can't imagine high school anywhere else. I love Burrow with all of my heart and it has helped me to shape me into the person I am today. There is truly no other school like it. Even though we are criminally underrated inside and outside the district, we have a spirit that is unmatched anywhere. Before I say anything else, I would like to thank the people who made it possible for me to speak today. I'd like to thank my friends and family for always motivating me to be productive, even on the days I felt like doing nothing. I would also like to thank my teachers for giving the materials I need to succeed. I can confidently say that I've learned something distinctive from each of them. Finally, I would like to thank Ms. Jewell, the Student Council, and everyone else who was involved in setting up the virtual graduation. Virtual graduation is definitely something none of us wanted nor expected, but it's better than nothing, and I'm glad to at least have this as a way to end my senior year. Regardless of whether or not we are on the field today, we have done it. Fight and willpower will be the class of 2020's legacy. We have all fought so hard to get to this point, and as cliche as it is to say this, this is only the beginning. We have more control over our lives than we've ever had and finally can start creating the life we were meant to live. The future holds so much for each and every one of us, whether it involves going to a four-year university, community college, joining a branch of the military, or heading straight into the workplace. No matter what path you are planning to take, I am so proud of all of us and all that we have accomplished. Good luck to you all and congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon. It is my honor as principal of Freehold High School to share with you the accomplishments of the class of 2020. Seniors, in early May, I wrote you a letter and I acknowledged that what was to be the second half of your senior year would have been unimaginable in the first month of your senior year, September 2019. Yet, here was our reality and milestones looked forward to from the time you were underclassmen did not happen as we all struggled to make sense of the world around us. The collective hearts of this school community go out to anyone who has been impacted by the virus, either directly or indirectly. Yet even these dramatic and frustrating changes to your school lives cannot diminish your accomplishments. Today is Freehold High School's 141st commencement. The, commence, the word commencement is derived from the French word commencière, which means to enter upon or to begin. Graduate, as the, this chapter of your lives closes today, there are new beginnings for each of you. 87% of you will continue your formal education, demonstrating that you understand the value of a commitment to lifelong learning. You were offered approximately $2.4 million in scholarship money. Congratulations, that is an outstanding offer. You distinguished yourselves as well outside the arena of academics with our school newspaper, literary magazine, and this year's log, the title of our yearbook, which takes a peek at Freehold in the Roaring Twenties. You entertained us with concerts, drama productions, and musicals, and the marching band always did us proud. One of my fondest memories is every fall sitting at my desk, having the windows open, and hearing the drum line of the marching band lead the rest of the band down to the stadium field. Many of you in the class of 2020 continued our school's commitment to athletics. Yes, we brought home the Duke, and yes, we had an exceptional wrestling season, and yes, school records were shattered. But it was more than that. It was about sportsmanship, fun, 
the spirit of competition, and being part of a team. DECA always sent dozens of you to states and nationals. Each year, you had a stellar showing at the district-sponsored hackathon. <clears throat> and you caught many people's attention with your success at the Girls Go Cybersecurity Competition. You have always been aware of your responsibility to the community. You were youth athletic coaches and first responders. You volunteered at local hospitals. You raised money for food banks. You gave generously of your time to Habitat for Humanity. And you were passionate about helping students with special needs. Some of you have responsibilities way beyond your years. You work to help support your families or you hurry home after school to care for younger siblings while your mom or dad is at work. You embraced the history, the tradition, the diversity, and the sense of belonging which defines the borough. So many of you have accomplished much and you will continue to do more. I love what I do because of you. Parents and guardians, it is my pleasure to have worked with you to have shared in the joy of watching your son or daughter grow and learn. Graduates, the teachers with whom you worked these past four years, believed in every one of you, that every one of you could learn. In the video, A Letter to Our Seniors, they expressed just how much you mean to them, how much they cared, and why they chose teaching as their vocation. Continue, graduates, to shine, to smile, and to impress. From my heart, I wish you a lifetime of love and peace. Thank you. And now I invite our superintendent, Dr. Charles Sampson, to the podium. Dr. Sampson will certify the class of 2020. Good evening. I'm Dr. Chuck Sampson, superintendent of the Freehold Regional High School District. Each year I have the distinct honor of certifying the graduating class. That simply means that the graduates assembled have completed the various requirements to graduate, passed certain courses, met required seat time, and a host of other mundane expectations. For the class of 2020, there is nothing mundane about the expectations you have met. When we closed the doors of the Friel Regional High School District on March 16th, no one believed it would bleed into the summer. For our seniors, the extended closure was particularly difficult as you have moved forward in an uncertain world. Rather than focus on the negative though, I wanna focus on hope. The hope that through such difficulty you have had the opportunity to determine what matters to you, how important your loved ones are, how you can still make a difference in a changed world, and above all, how you can choose to rely on that hope rather than fear. I'm incredibly proud of the class of 2020, and while graduation is not what was expected, we know it is important to celebrate what is in our heart and to continue to be a light to others as we move forward this summer. We will honor you in July to the best of our ability and I am proud to re represent this class as your superintendent. It is now my honor to confirm that the members of the graduating class of 2020 have fulfilled all requirements for graduation in accordance with the New Jersey Department of Education, statute and regulation, as well as the requirements of the Friel Regional High School District, and therefore are eligible to receive their high school diplomas. I now certified the class of 2020. Congratulations. The names of our graduates will, re will be read this afternoon by Student Council President Leah Fallhaber, Senior Class President Madison Costa, Vice President Anusha Sahai, Vice President of Marketing Thomas Staples, Vice Presidents of Fundraising Alexis Giuliano and Rahul Serrano. The first to be recognized, Valedictorian Brian Cleary.
Salutatorian, Sophia Shre. Madison Lee Costa. Leah Rose Fallhaber. Alexis Giuliano. Anusha Sahai. Thomas David Staples. Rahul Sarana. Samantha Ann Abate. Daniela Ayala. Samantha Ayala. Maritza Alamo. Alessa Alex. Harry Peter Alex. Joseph Alvarez. Philip James Amari. Arturo Amaro. Fulele Crystal Andino Alvarado. Angelo Antigo. Mio Aponte. Evan Dariel Arango Valencia. Jose Antonio Austin. Leah Avila. Alan Z. Avila Romero. Jacob Aviles. Carlos Baez Aguirre. Jackson Bellarjan. Isaac Ball. Michael Barone Jr. Chloe Basso. Christian Elijah Bello. Jose Gennaro Beltran Valeriano. April Ariana Benitez Serone. Soledad Benitez Mujica. Connor M. Bennett. Tara Berlin. Nicholas Bibolori. Caitlin Bingham. Michaela Blackwell. Carl Blair. Earl Blair Jr. Jonathan Tyler Bodner. Dennis Bolatino. Caroline Boyle. Matthew Joseph Brincaccio. Marzan Brinson. Noah Jordan Brower. Ned Anthony Bryant. Gianna Caggiano. Thomas K. Calixo. Megan Camarota. Caitlin Camp. David Camuso. Jalen Canada. Kara Cannon. Justin Cardozo Ponce. Marshawn Carpenter. Gabriella Noel Casal. Emily Rose Cavallaro. Renata Seppi. 
Srikar Y. Chala, Zachary Jacob Chalnik, Paulina Chavez Gutierrez, Rohan Chinni, Nicholas Chung, Tyler Joseph Cicero, Bridget Clark, Julia Confrancesco, Jordan Jacobson Collier, Haley Connolly, Emily Grace Contract, Jillian Costa, Amari Cozart, Michael Crandall, James Crivelli, Christian Cruz, Nicholas Joseph Cruz, Pablo Daniel Cruz, Christopher Cruz Martinez, Aureli Kwaklaqua Toshua, Giovanni Kwaklaqua Toshua, Jennifer Quado, Jalissa Quado, Victoria Cuccia, Kristen Rose Cuisson, Brianna Cuddle, Jasmine Cusco, Charlie Margaret Mary Dangler, Samantha Joe Dangler, Logan Daniels, Ashley Christine Darby, Catherine Maria Dawood, Christopher DeFigos, Jake DeMilta, Christian DeMoro, Lawrence Desmond, Nicholas John DeVito, Simon Armando Diaz Dominguez Jr. Jennifer Diaz Lopez. Matthew L. Diffley. Mark DiGeronimo. Connor Donahue. Christopher Danola. Joelle Epen, Olivia Page Ecock, Jonathan Esposito, Aldo Esquivel, Troy Fairfax, Daniel Feehan. Melanie Ann Feliciano, Molly Fennessy, Henry Faria, Adrian Figueroa, Rachel Fiorito, Sydney Flanagan. Joshua Flores, Dahlia Flores Perez, Philip Steven Franco, Elisa Fuentes, Yanelis Fuentes, Miranda Therese Folsonetti. 
Jonathan Gabay, Matthew Gagliardo, Michael Lewis Gagliardo, Samuel Jacinto Galindo, Pablo Yair Galindo Garcia, Julia Rose Gang, Carla Garcia, Michael Garcia, Ashley Garcia Cortez, Shayla Joanna Garcia Mendez, George Gibson, Ryan Giovanello, Darius Glover, Beatriz Azucena Gonzalez, Luis Gonzalez, Mark Gonzalez, Chris Gonzalez Magana, Carrie Greenspan, Arsh Gupta, Angel Diego Gutierrez, Jacqueline Gutierrez Lopez, Colby Hoff, John Hands, CJ Huey, Jorge Hernandez Fierro. Mauricio Hernandez Reyes, Anina Hill, Matthew Holdorf, Nicholas Hom, Jonathan Hong, Scott Michael Horvath. Brian Hughes, Alejandro Huitzil Romero, Thomas Hulse, Drew Isaacson, Gerson James Nino, Alyssa Victoria Javier. Benjamin Jelinski, Yahira S. Jimenez Silva, Christina Jokic, Kiera Egypt Alasia Jones, Owen Juarez Vivas, Juliana Kaminsky. Dean Kane, Ethan Karzuski, Neha Karnam, Jason Katz, Jamie Deborah Keelan, Vanessa Kern. Jack Kessler, David Sung Joon Kim, Jaden Chance Kokonakis, Michael Kraus, Hakeem Krakuti Jr., Hannah Cudler. Hunter Michael Lachinsky, Giacinto La Rosa, Nicholas Latona, Mike Lazaro, Andrew Lee, Ethan Lee. 
Cody Lennon, David Leon Rosas, Cassidy Leopold Cole, Sincere Dejon Lester, Thomas Lee, Max Lizzo, Joseph Lucercio, Emily Rose Lombardi, Angel Lopez Martinez, Kevin Luna, Kaylee Marie Maine, Carol Ann Maletsky, Janet Manzano, Kenny Manzano, Ashley Manzano Lopez, Jacqueline Marin Moran, Joseph Donato Martinelli Jr., Brian Martinez Barrales, Caitlin Marzigliano, Matthew Mascolo, Alexis Mateo Mendez, Luisa Matias, Luke Morrow, Timothy Maxfield, Charles McCool, Michael Joseph McGuire, Bailey May McSherry, Ishan Mehta, Nico Messina, Ziamara Jamlet Miguel Cruz, Michelle Mistretta, Nicholas Materatona, Daniel Molina, Ishma Maman, Rachel Moore, Adal Morales, Daniela Morales, Janisa Moreno, Emily Rose Morse, Israel Moscoso Farfan, Liam Schuyler Mueller, Antonio Munoz, Maximus Murphy, Nicole Ann Myers, Justin Michaelitis, Gabrielle Rose Nadrich, Skariti Nakiran, Mason B. Naftali, Brittany Nappi, Karina Nakvi, Thomas Newman, Alyssa Ney, Rachel Ney, Anthony Hugh Nugent. Elise Maria Nieves, Nicole Nikolova, Julia Oliveira, Austin Olmedo, Jacqueline Ortiz, Louis Ortiz. 
Nada Osman. Brianna Madison Pacheco. Marella L. Padilla Espito. Amy Itzel Pantoja. Sean Pasricha. Janali R. Patel. Juhi Patel. Rajat Patel. Candice Gabriella Patrick. Jackson Edward Pavlovich. Javon Malik Pert. Adeline Peregrina Camarino. Matthew Perkins. Sean Petrowski. Ashley Pitaluga. Danny Noel Polanco. Isaiah Ponton. Jessica Preet. Oksaya Priyadit. Lori Perswani. Lisette Pushby. Louis Racine. Alan Samuel Rahanov. Carla Ramirez Felicia. Amy Ramirez Arake. Lily Ramos. Patrick Ray. Daniel James Rieger. Nicole Ringwald. Ryan Rishi. Alyssa Gloria Rivera. Jose Rivera. Ivory Rivera. Olivia Marie Roach. Giovanna Amir Robastelli. Keegan Roach. Jason Rosheni. Montserrat Rodriguez German. Joseph Romani. Dylan Michael Ryan. Marvin Saad Vinza. Yovan Jose Sacramento. Jaden Samaniego. Bianca Ivani Sanders. Denise Santiago Caballero. Hope Elizabeth Scafario. Nicholas Schaefer. Benjamin Timothy Schmalzried. Nathan Schnitzer. Garrett Schoenfelder. Briona Seward. Kave Shafai. Divya Shah. Valerie Sherman. Alexander Siegel. Tomango Sims. Jacqueline Skukanis. Coltrane Smith. Shane Solomon. Brooke Ashley Serrano. 
Allison Stango. Sheila Steinmacher. Jihad Stevens. Laura Sun. Isaiah Lewis Sweeney. Antonino Tantillo. Rosario Tapia. Riley Tardy. Mackenzie Tarafenko. Bernasia Marlo Terry. Noel Riley Terry. Avijit S. Topper. Frank Tilton. Michelle Tlaxocal Santiago. Christina Tlapa Martinez. William Tobias. Yureli Torres. Robert Timothy Tweedale. Jake Tyrell. Maria Del Carmen Zilli Amigo. Sarah Irvine. Jose Velasquez Oliveira. Angelis Verrett. Alexandra Vital Huertero. Christopher John Oyantis. Ronick Singh Walia. Daniela Warren. Kayla Marie Watkins. Matthew Joseph Wiener. Benjamin Weinstein. Kyle Joseph Wenrick. Raymond Whitley. Austin Wiatrowski. Ariana Williams. Deanta Williams. Sean Donald Woodell. Madison Wolf. Michelle Wormall. Zachary Wozniak. Soon Su. Rebecca Yamagami. Olivia Rose Zuto. Graduates, please stand. We are now officially alumni of Freehold High School. It is time for us to switch our tassels from left to right. Congratulations.